I'm sometimes asked about my most memorable interview in my 17 years at WYMT. There are many, but it's not a celebrity or politician that stands out above the rest. It's Rebecca Gerald. In 1958, she lost her only two children in what many call the worst tragedy in the history of Floyd County. Gerald died yesterday, just a few weeks shy of her 94th birthday. Here is our story as it aired in 2008. On February 28, 1958, at 8.10 a.m., a school bus loaded with 48 elementary and high school students was headed to Prestonsburg on Old Route 23. For reasons still uncertain to this day, the driver did not see a tow truck in front of him that was getting ready to pull a vehicle out of a ditch until it was too late. He crashed into it, crossed the road, sideswiped a parked car, and rolled down an embankment into the swollen and cold of Isa Fork of the Big Sandy River. 27 people, including the driver, died. 22 others survived. Judge Executive Doc Marshall will never forget that day. He was supposed to be on the bus, but it didn't make it to pick him up. He knew everyone that died. It was just like they vanished that day. A few months ago, Marshall helped unveil a new monument to honor the victims in front of the old Floyd County Courthouse. When I look at these names, I put a picture, a face, an actual person. Uh, the road where this accident happened 50 years ago hasn't really changed that much with one big exception. This guardrail wasn't here to prevent the bus from plunging into the river. 85-year-old Rebecca Jarrell lost her only two children in the crash. Bucky Ray was 15, Katie Carroll was 13. I never thought I'd live 50 years after they has gone, but the Lord let me stay here for some reason. Jarrell says the accident nearly ended her life too. I thought, well, I'll just kill myself and get out of this. But then the Lord just was right down in front of me, he was right back there, and he said that's not the way out of it. Gerald says she often wondered why some children were spared while hers didn't make it. Why did I have to give them up? Wasn't I the mother that I should have been? I questioned that. Was I the mother I should have been if I had to give my kids up? But I don't know. But one thing for sure, when I leave here, I can go be with them. The pain in Floyd County would continue. Many survivors still don't want to talk about the crash to this day. The bus was recovered from the river on March 2nd, several days after the accident. Many of the bodies were still inside, but others floated away. The last child wasn't found until May 10th, many weeks after the disaster. And their daughter was, she was one of the last ones was found. She was buried on her boy's birthday, 15th of April. Gerald says it meant a lot to see the new memorial in Prestonsburg, and she still hopes to see a historical marker put up at the site of the crash before she dies. And Gerald did live to see a marker placed at the crash site a few years ago. The visitation for Rebecca Gerald is underway now and will continue all day tomorrow at Nelson Frazier Funeral Home in Martin. The funeral is Wednesday at 1.